Hey there. Good morning, Chalk Mercantile and Surface Anthology people, followers. Um, our wreath, my wreath is really shaping up now. I'm calling this my, my fancy wreath. Some changes are happening. I went out and looked for acorns. I can't find any acorns, even though I'm surrounded by oak trees. I tried rolling out the iron orchid clay and making it into oak leaves, and I hated it. <laughs> Just did not harmonize with what I have going on here. Now, if you missed what what got us up or me up to this point, please go back and look at yesterday's live and uh, the day before also, because that's how I created this beautiful, kind of ancient looking painted surface, which took all of like a half an hour to do. And it looks really old and really kind of, what do they call it, decrepit elegance or one of those crazy new words. But, um, what I did do is continue with the iron orchid molds. I added some little flowers. This is from, which mold is this? I think this is called Swags, but I use the flowers here, a couple of different sizes. And then I also made some bees and that is from, and this bow from the Laurel. Um, mold, which I use all the time. I absolutely love this mold. It's got crowns, this bow, which I've used over and over again. And I just kind of piled it on. Then the what I'm going to show you guys today is, um, because I can't start painting and gold leafing until the molds are dry. You could paint when the molds are wet, which I do all the time, I glue them down, I paint them when they're wet, all the time. But because I'm gonna be leafing, I'm gonna hold off on that and I'll show you guys that part of this process tomorrow. What I'm gonna show you today is how, as you see, I have these little pine cones placed, but I haven't put them in the Venetian plaster yet. But I'm gonna show you how I I don't know, I've seen them do this with flowers where they dip silk flowers into plaster. So I'm dipping, and you could see here, the little pine cones, um, these three into the Venetian plaster. And then I just used, again, Aileen's Tacky Glue to put those down. And really, before I start gold leafing, I want this to be 100% dry because I don't want to knock anything off. So let me show you how I put my little pine cones into the Venetian plaster. All right. Well, I'm getting set up. Today is the last day to join, you guys, the Surface Anthology membership as a founding member for $21 a month. And if you just go to surfaceanthology.com, you will see the tab for the Surface Anthology membership. All right, and I'm gonna just put a couple of tongue depressors full of my Venetian plaster. And then a little bit of water. Don't be like me, use clean water. I was gluing today, so <laughs> I have my glue brush in there. Okay, and mix this up. And I'm making a nice paste. I really wanna get the lumps out. And down the road, um, I will be showing you guys how I use this on fabric to make like a tapestry, kind of painted tapestry. Okay, so there it is. I'm gonna add just a touch more water. So what you need, by the way, is a little, the other day I used kind of a low 
a little porcelain plate. I'm using something deeper now, so it'll be easier for me to roll those little pine cones around. So you need some water, your Venetian plaster, and a sheet of wax paper so they can dry on something and not stick. And as if you follow me for any length of time, you know I love wax paper. All right, I'm gonna add a touch more water. And mix that up. And these really need to dry overnight. And somebody asked me how I find the time to get projects done. Again, I get this question asked a lot. And the way I do it is I don't do everything at once. And I think if you speak to a lot of painters, furniture painters, crafters, things have to be done in steps anyway, right? It, so you do a part of it, spend a half an hour, an hour, let it dry, let it process overnight. Maybe you won't have a few days, you start on it again in a few days. Like you don't have to do it every single day, maybe every weekend, maybe once a month. But if you plan it out and create steps, you can find the time to do it. I appreciate how busy everybody is, but if you wanna create things, Take the time to make steps and space out when you work on your projects. Again, if you go to the surfaceanthology.com site, I created a little printable for you guys where, and I have a bunch of them in a folder. For every project I do, I fill it out so I know what I have to do next, what supplies I need, what the steps are, um, a little sketch of my project. And that really helps me to stay on track because everybody's going back to a project and you're like, where am I on this project? What did I do last? What do I need to do next? And what products do I need? Do I have them? So this is a, it's a good little printable to keep you on track and to help you find that time, whether it be a 15 minute block or a two hour block to keep you on traps, track so you could finish some projects. So go to surfaceanthology.com, get that, that'll help you. All right, back to our little project. So here I have these miniature pine cones. So I'm just dipping it into this Venetian plaster, rolling it around. and then lift it out. And I kinda shook out the other day just a little bit, because it, it shrinks as it dries. So there it is, dipped, put it down on the waxed paper and let it dry. Here's the next one. And another little helpful um, hint, and I just took a picture of this before I came on the live, I'll take a picture with my phone of my project where I place these pine cones so once they're dry, I don't have to sit and think about the, um, you know, where, where they're gonna go. So I could put them right back where I had them placed just by looking at a picture. Okay. And there was pine cone number two, shake out. And put that on the wax paper. And then number three. I bet this would be beautiful with leaves. Um, I know this is a whole world using plaster. Um, but what I've seen is it on silk flowers and silk leaves. Okay, and there's our last one. Get rid of that excess plaster. 
And then tomorrow, actually I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to glue these on and have everything dry by tomorrow so we could paint and gold leaf. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you And by the way, you could probably do that with regular plaster, but I have not tried it. I've only used the um, Venetian plaster. So here we are, and I got the graphite aged back that I really wanted, and the white is just popping. And I wanted to introduce gold. I talked about copper. And as I look at this, you know, I have to make up my mind. I don't know what you guys think, but <laughs> it's like, okay, what do I envision here? I'm definitely going to hang this on a wall in my house. It's right up my alley. It goes with my decor. And I do have a lot of anti gold leaf frames around, gilded frames. So let's see what it looks like. I just have to, oh, here we go. Here's some gold. So this is a good thing to do too when you're working something out. Here's the gold. And I, I love it. I love it with the gray, the cool gray and the white. I think it'll give it just the pop that I want. But I like to hold up the different colors and kind of think about it. And you can also grab your phone and take a picture and then look at it in a few hours. So here's copper. And look at how beautiful the copper is with the gray and the white. So I did talk about mixing the two and I haven't made up my mind yet. And it might be something that I'll do as I'm working on this. I mean, why not? You could do these little flowers, you know, put the size down and work the gold and the copper together. And then where's my silver? And we could keep the whole thing cool and just use silver. Very, very icy. A really kind of wintry, cool wreath. And here's the, the last thing I'm going to tell you. If I do this and I don't like it, I could get let everything dry, get my size out. That size is the glue that we use for leafing and go right over what I had done if I don't like the color. So that's something for me to think about. So to recap, oh, and I want, wait, I wanted to show you one more thing, because somebody asked me about this, because I, I do love leafing and I do it on everything. Here is, because I had done, they watched my tote, I, I gold leafed or copper leafed a tote bag. Here is a pennant or bunting, as some people call it, that I made. I made this year, a couple of years ago. It has to be now. And it is with gold leaf. It's on linen. I, I sewed up these little pennants, the little triangles, and I used size, no finishing on it. And it has held up so well. I hang it all over the place. I love it. So... And I, you could do pillows, you could do all kinds of stuff. You know, I wouldn't put it on a pillow that I'm going to put my head down on, but how beautiful would a design be on a linen pillow? So the tote I did it on was cotton. It has held up really well. And this is linen, and I love it. So it's a really easy way to get, a, I think, a really elegant look. These will look beautiful at a wedding um, a party or just in your house just to decorate. So yes, the gold leaf holds up really, really well on fabric. I am going to iron this today. I'm going to press it with a cool iron because I kind of threw it in the corner. Um, I'm switching my whole studio around and it wrinkled and you know linen loves to wrinkle. So I'm going to put it face down on an old towel 
and probably spritz it with some water and just use a not really burning hot iron and see how um, flat I can get these. I've learned my lesson. You do know with linen, you need to lay it flat and don't throw it in the corner. So any other questions you guys, please ask in the comments. All of these videos about this wreath, I'm gonna to post today on my YouTube channel, Sur uh, Surface, Antholo Surface Anthology YouTube. That's for Chalk Mercantile too. That's where I keep all the videos. And it's the last day to be a founding member of the Surface Anthology membership. And this is just a touch of what we'll be covering in there. So if you're inclined, please join. It's $21 a month, which is guaranteed for the life of the membership as long as you stay a member. Next time it opens, it will be going up. So, and if you wanna check out all the perks, go to surfaceanthology.com and just click on the Surface Anthology membership tab and it's all there. So that's it, you guys. Join me tomorrow around the same time, 11. Hopefully everything will be dry and we'll move on to painting and leafing our beautiful wreath. And there it is. So I can't wait to see this finished. Hope you join me. See you soon, you guys. Happy painting.